What's up everybody on YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video right here on the channel of Tubers Gaming HD. I hope you guys are having a good day out there so far. It is of course Monday today, so maybe some of you guys had to go back to school. I don't know. If you're back in school again, I, I actually don't know. So let me know in the comment section down under. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some new mods we actually got today. So if you're going to go to the mod hub, we're going to go to latest. And the two mods I'm going to go ahead and take a look at is the Fort Shrid K454 and the Kronelan FML. That's not F my life, but um, it's just FML. I don't know why it's called that, but this is from Black Eyes modding, not Black Sheep, but Black Eyes modding. I don't know if they're corroborating. I don't think so. But Black Eyes modding has actually made this uh, right here, Kronelan FML. It is a stalk chopper, so it basically just chops down the grass and stuff like that. You can use it as a lawnmower, cutting grass in the banks of fields or in rows of vineyards and orchards. Price is seven thousand dollars. It has a working width on 1.80 meters and a maximum power of 50 horses under the bonnet. So we have it downloaded already. And then of course we have this, which is a bailer. This is from DTP Mario, which is a mod creator I can see. The Fort Zrith K454. The Progress K454 High Pressure Press is a further development of the K453 and can hand hardly disengaged from its first a glance. It is also driven or driven by a PTO shaft at 1000 RPMs. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna get into the details. It's looking, it's looking quite good. And we're basically gonna go ahead and start out of career mode, get into the new game, deselect all and select all and get away the season's DEO because I don't want that snow to be in here when I'm about to do some bailing. So let's go ahead and start it up right there. That's what we can actually go ahead and do. So um, we do that. And we're gonna go ahead and get in it. As you might see. And it should actually be be like yeah, right there we got it. And let's go ahead into the shop. And we're gonna go to tools. I'm gonna go for the baler at first. Bailing technology, right there, the K yeah, are we gonna go ahead and take it all standard? I guess when you kind of take a standard, that is like the uh, kind of developer behind it that actually make it like that. So that's why I'm also like taking it's all standard. And then we should have like maybe in MISC, I'm not quite sure. No, it's not in here. But then in Carters, obviously, I guess. Uh, movers, obviously. It's right there, the Kremlin FML. And I'm actually going to go ahead and see what kind of else you can actually get this color array. Bailing right there. Main color. You can choose every color you want. That's different. Or oh, that's that's not like usual. And trailer hitch. Then you can put like trailer so then you can get the bales on the trailer. Which is three point. Yeah, I guess then we're gonna go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and get into the trailers. Let me see. If I'm gonna go to trailers, trailer, 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 trailer right there. What kind of trailer would you probably put behind? You would put like some an antique trailer, but I don't have that. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna take it with the big capacity and just buy that. Yes, let's go ahead and see if that works. And of course, tractors, tractors, tractors. We need a tractor. And what else are we gonna use? Not, yeah, I think actually we can go ahead and use this. And we're gonna take the 75 white tires. That's that's the setup, dude. That's the setup. Back up, back up. And let's get up to the mods. I'm too fast on this. Right there. Uh, so we got it actually right here, and it is looking it's looking quite cool. Good, like K454. It's looking quite cool right here at the car. Those reliable motors. ZRS. That's that's like the process of this. It really is, and uh, I think it looks pretty good in my opinion. I really do. So that that's dope. That's really dope. Let's get ahead and you know, let's go ahead and get into the JCB and put like the portrait on, so that we can see how it actually works. The 
cheap grind hitch. I need some help to actually unload this or unfold this. Oh. Oh, 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 help window needs to be on. Lower baler, lower pickup, turn on baler. Unfold baler. Yep, that's what we want to do. We want to put that trailer on. I don't know if we can actually get the trailer on this, but we're about to find out. Okay, that doesn't work at all. Oh god. Actually, actually, I I think it eventually. I think it it will actually work. Uh, I'm not. I'm quite sure on that. But we're gonna go ahead and try it out. We're gonna go ahead and freaking try it out. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and see if we can buy like... Oh! <laughs> bag it up, bag it up, thanks. We're gonna buy a combine. Me. We're gonna take the biggest one right here. Yeah, just ideal 8. Buy that. I'm gonna sneeze in a matter of seconds, I can feel that. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. So we're gonna go ahead and buy the header. It's gonna be this. That's the small one. Oh, well. I think so. No, it's, that's actually the biggest one, but whatever. Oh, we're gonna take the power flow right there. That's, that's more suitable, I, I think. That's more suitable indeed. I'm gonna go ahead and back it up again. Uh, probably wanna jump to the combine. I'm just gonna take the help window up, I don't need that. Uh, I know how to operate like combines and stuff. I really do. Ooh, we actually have the tracks on? That's all, it, it's only the AT right here. I didn't know that you actually they went ahead and actually made it with like the tracks on this one. But they obviously, as you can see, do. So oh it's a little bit hard to steer right here. I'm just gonna go to the steward the other way and go full throttle again. So let's get up to the field. I think I do have, yeah, I have like this field up here. Oh. Yes sir, so I'm like, oh it's a hot to steer. So at least now we got some straw that we can actually go ahead and bail with. So I'm gonna go shift down to the baler and the fast track. So it, this fast track right here can actually go like 75 kilometers per hour. So if you just have like think about that when you're out on the field, or let's go ahead and see if we can hit some some high high speed like 50, 50. Right there, that's 50. Okay, so it will it like with this on the on the back of it, it, it will not like go that fast. It it will not. But I think it's still okay um, for like a machine like this. It, it really is. But um, yeah, we, we go like that, and and that's good enough for me. Oh, that's the inside. Oh, it's turned on right there. So let's go ahead and do some stuff, cuz. Probably have to put it down. Oh, jeez. Uh, G. Down. Yes, sir. Now we're making some bales. 
That's what we like. That's the business. That's the main business. Oh my god. I'm pretty bad at the steering right here. So now we are upgrading. Which is pretty cool. And uh, the bailus is like coming up as you can see. This is not the right this is not a bail whack and it's it's not. I'll just have to point that out for you guys. This is just a, a, a like a normal whack and I just have to point that out. So that you don't think it is a like a normal bail whack because it's not. Oh uh, but it works right there at the moment. It it actually works which is which is pretty nice and it just kind of puts in everything pretty well I think in my opinion okay now it, it, it bugs a little bit but I guess that's okay I'm kind of losing a lot of the bales right now, as you can see. Yeah. Not what I actually expected, but um, we actually do lose a lot of them. Ooh! So it goes right there. And, um,. It is. I think it looking. It's looking quite good. Uh, that's that's my opinion on that. It, it really is. So I just want to say once again before we end this video, just thanks for watching and thanks for coming through on it. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Of course, we're on our way to like thirty-two thousand subscribers, which is like it's a it's a pretty big benchmark actually. We we kind of like the goal of 2020 is 50,000 subscribers so that's a lot of people but I think we can actually make it uh, just keep on uploading you know and uh, yeah so thanks for watching thanks for coming through we're gonna see you guys next time bye